Campus, a haunted house for students. If you don't well, want to search, Whitehall. Whitehall is uh, house with very many. popular <laughs> for um, ghost encounters or paranormal encounters. Yeah. Uh, it's very popular for ghost encounters or paranormal encounters. But currently, Whitehall is um, under or is not being used because they are considering it to be uh, renovated. As you can see, it's still very old. It's original material design is still there. We cannot uh, take well, a good picture a because uh, Barado or Sarada ni mga pasukan. So considering its significance, do you still have a cultural problem? Right. Next is the Josef Bas for the Holy. This is the last uh, teacher's camp uh, building that we map. If you will suggest, uh, let's talk later. So, Jose uh, Vars for the Hall is um, used or erected during the American era. It is one of the first buildings in 1915 named for a Boa dormitory. And it was used as a hall, a verse hall during the uh, Considering also historical significance, a banal extension, nalalaan ng kulahat natin yan. It has a grand white uh, green design. Pero uh, uh, youth of yesterday, you might know its original design. Because as for me, hindi pa ako nakapasok dyan. Kasi yun yung COVID, hindi ko siya mapasok as a mapper. So, uh, if you might help me for more information, you can also talk to me. So, considering its for, again, significance, do you want to take this as a cultural property value. Yes. Five? Next. Okay, Bayanihan Shopping Center. Five agad? Hindi ko tingnan nun pa, five agad. Okay. Next. Um, Harrison Waiting Shed. Um, This was a donation of the uh, Lions Club. It was the first donation including the uh, grandstand, Melbourne Grandstand. Its design has a similar design with the first uh, Melbourne Grandstand that was used by the uh, President Marcos during the uh, first uh, uh, Grand Canyon. It was used in the Grand Canyon, but now it has a different design. And uh, uh, considering its uh, physical structure, it reminds us from its um, the first design of the Melbourne Jones And so I know some might of you might uh, argue that this is not a um, cultural heritage, but considering its historical significance, do you agree with me that we will still take this as a cultural value? Five? Five? No, <laughs> Okay, next, Mines Bulek. I know all of us know Mines Bulek. It is also one of the landmarks of Baguio. Do you take this as a cultural property of Baguio? Five. Five. Next. Uh, let's go to our another subcategory. It's called educational complexes. I will give the mic to my partner again, Mamza. Okay. School and 